Hello there, my name is Ginger Vieira. I am a senior content manager at Beyond Type 1, and with me today is Kim Rose. She is a certified diabetes educator and a registered dietitian. What I love most about Kim actually is her approach to nutrition and helping create lifestyle habits that you can really sustain long-term that fuel you instead of feel like restriction. So thank you for that, Kim. Tell everybody a little bit about you and where to find you online. Sure. So as Ginger mentioned, my name is Kim Rose. You can find me online, Instagram. I'm big on Instagram at the dot blood sugar dot nutritionist. And really my whole entire philosophy is to really make food taste good. I don't believe food has to taste like cardboard and sadness. So I really try to get that point across that better blood sugar management does not have to, you don't have to sacrifice the foods that you love. Your A1C can be managed. Your blood glucose levels can be low. It really just takes a little creativity and good tasting food and also blood sugar management by using your medications, of course. Right. And I would really love to pick your brain about smart insulin pen technology. So many people with type 2 diabetes use insulin pens, but smart pens, also referred to as connected insulin pens, are a type of insulin pen that talks to an app on your phone probably, um, or other devices. And I would love to hear what are some of the benefits of using a smart insulin pen for a person with type two diabetes? Sure. So one of the benefits is that it can definitely reduce the burden of care. So for individuals with type 2 diabetes who may be taking multiple injections throughout the day, instead of having to carry their insulin everywhere with them. They can have a smart pen, which is a reusable device. They drop it in their purse or whatever luggage they're carrying. And it's going to send you a reminder, hey, maybe you skipped a meal. Hey, you forgot to take your insulin dose. So it really takes the uh, thought process and the burden out of better blood sugar management. Another thing that is important is it can send graphs to your doctor. So your doctor in real time can see what is going on. It connects to your phone, your smart devices. I know me, I never I never have my phone far away. So you're able to see how much insulin you have on board. You're able to see when was the last time you took your insulin. And also it is quite cost effective. So for individuals with type two diabetes, whose insurance company may not give them a continuous glucose monitor or may not give them a device or uh, like a pump, this is a way that you are able to better manage your blood sugars in a most convenient, comfortable, cost-effective way. So oh. it really helps to reduce that, that physical burden and also the psychological burden of, oh, I have to take my, my uh, insulin now. Right. You're getting reminders on your phone, which is already right there. And it's helping you keep track of how much insulin you took, when you took it, how much is still in your bloodstream and get all that information to your healthcare team. Correct. That's Love cool. it. Yeah. What, what would be some of the common reasons someone might be reluctant to use a smart pen that you've seen in your work? Yeah, I really have seen that individuals do not know much about smart pens because they're not told about it from their healthcare right. provider or their dietitian. So there's a lot of unknowns that have to be broached. And I know with a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, it's some for some individuals, it's a new diagnosis. For some others, they think, well, you know, this just may be my life. And they really don't have much information about it. So I think it's just uh, education on the unknowns and by exposure, making the topic a little more comfortable. So I believe that there's a lot of work that healthcare providers can do to help individuals that may uh, qualify for a smart pen and maybe a good candidate, I should say rather, uh, to approach that topic. Um, another thing that I think is important when it comes to um, some individuals that may think, you know, it's a negative thing. So for those of us who may not be well versed in math, a smart pen really can calculate the amount of carbs um, that you are. So basically what you do, you put it in your blood sugar, you put in the total amount of carbs that you ate for your meal, and it's going to tell you exactly 
how much insulin you should give yourself. So it takes that math. I'm not a great mathematician and I'm pretty sure there's others out there that aren't as well. <laughs> so right, it takes right that math out of it. Additionally, it, uh, there, it can deliver half doses. So if you know you don't need seven um, units of insulin and you don't need eight, maybe you need 7.5, you can dial that pen up to 7.5 units. Right. So it's just really about knowledge and education and taking that, that unknown out of the equation. It does a lot of the thinking for you and keeping track and calculating. That's, that's a big deal. It and is. And to qualify, can you use a smart pen if you are only on a once a day long acting insulin, or is it only for people who are on mealtime insulin too? Sure. So that is a great question. So individuals that take multiple daily injections may qualify for smart pen. So if you're on a long acting insulin or if you're on a short acting insulin, uh, then I would definitely encourage people to talk to their doctor. Also, individuals that may have hypoglycemia that are taking insulin as well, uh, they may definitely want to speak to their doctor to help to integrate that data into the system. They may be taking too much insulin because a lot of times when we eat, we do not realize there's already insulin on board. So the smart pen helps to take away all of that confusion and says, hey, this is how much you have on board. This is how much you need to take at the next meal if it's a bolus, short acting, or if it's a long acting insulin. Right. Okay. And for those who don't know yet, on board means insulin you already took last time you ate that's still active in your bloodstream now because that insulin can hang out for anywhere from three, four, up to six hours sometimes in, in rapid acting insulin doses for meals. Correct. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you, Kim. Um, I, I hope that more people are given the opportunity to look into using smart pens. It sounds like it can really be a big game changer and relieve some of the burden of taking insulin and having to keep track of all the insulin that you're taking and that you have taken and that you're going to take. Right. And you know, one final thing that I did want to say, if anyone listening to this has type two diabetes and you're on insulin, multiple injections, your healthcare provider may not have brought this up to you. Definitely go to them, ask them about it, have them decide if you may be a good candidate and try it out. Nothing beats a failure, but a try. So I really want to encourage everyone to do that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Speak up to your healthcare team and, and ask about it. Thank you, Kim. My pleasure.